The 11th annual Sci-Fi on the Rock took place at the Sheridan Hotel in St. John's over the weekend. The event is also an opportunity for small businesses to access a big market. NTV's Heather Gillis now with this report. Sci-Fi on the Rock means big business for some local companies. The weekend-long event draws thousands of people. You can buy almost anything for any interest. From Darth Vader bath bombs to books, clothing, artwork, and home decor. And small businesses are here to capitalize. This has been... I can't even describe it, just to be out here with people that love this stuff and relate to everything. Everybody's been phenomenal and it's been, it's been, it's been great. This is the biggest event we've ever did. So, I mean, we're from Grand Falls, Windsor, so it's, it's a smaller community and now just seeing so many people, I mean, this, this is the boom that I'm hoping that, that we, we need, right? Uh, it's the one thing I go to almost every year. Uh, I have a full-time job, so I don't get to go to many other conventions or sales or anything like that. We have so much fun with sci-fi because all through the year you don't have, get to have a whole lot of fun because you do a lot of your regular stuff. With sci-fi, we can play and have a lot of fun. And the Stormtroopers and the Hulk and Darth Vader, they're so well-received at sci-fi. Organizers say there were also celebrity guests and panel discussions. They say Sci-Fi on the Rock is growing every year. Well, this is our 11th year, and over the course of 11 years, we've moved uh, from two different venues prior to here. So uh, we moved into this venue last year for the year 10, and this year we've even grown bigger. So this year we've introduced booths in the vendor's room, we've changed up some of the rooms, uh, we've added some new rooms that we now use, so we've really taken over most of the space here at the Sheraton, and we're very grateful for everything the Sheraton has done for us to help us uh, grow and expand in the space. And, of course, there were costumes for cosplay. And what sci-fi on the rock without replicas of R2-D2 and R2-D1. Heather Gillis, NTV News.